Hi, and welcome to 5 Minutes Statistics for Clinical Research. My name is Caroline Herborn, and I am part of the Biostatistics team at GCP Service International. When biostatisticians want to perform statistical analysis, they have to know what the data looks like. One of the most important aspects is the classification of the data into quantitative and qualitative, as well as the type of scale level that each variable has – nominal, ordinal or metric. In today's video, we will explain what the difference between qualitative and quantitative data is and how to distinguish between the scale levels. When dealing with data, a common question is what kind of variable are we dealing with? Quantitative or qualitative? Quantitative variables consist of measurable or countable features, such as time of survival, number of blood cells, blood pressure, age or number of children in a family. Qualitative variables, in contrast, are not measurable and presented as scales of text, such as the blood group, gender, satisfaction of a patient on their treatment, status of a disease or status of survival. Quantitative variables are all in the scale of metric variables. We distinguish between discrete and continuous data here. Discrete are all counting variables that have only integers, such as number of children in a family. Continuous variables, on the other hand, can assume all values, including decimal numbers like size or weight of a person. All metric variables have a scale, and therewith a sequence by definition. Differences are therefore interpretable. Qualitative variables, in contrast to metrically scaled quantitative variables, are distinguished in nominal and ordinal scaled variables. Nominal variables contain data in classes, such as the blood group, that does not have a qualitative order. Therefore, they have no sequence, and distances between two classes are not interpretable, since they have no qualitative meaning. Ordinal variables, on the other hand, as the name already says, have an order in their occurring classes, for example measuring intensity, agreement or satisfaction from strong towards little. Distances between two classes are interpretable, but may not be comparable. So nominal variables are simply determining a certain status, whereas ordinal variables can be sorted and ordered. Of course it is possible to consider one variable in different scale levels, depending on what needs to be shown. It is always possible to transform a variable to a lower scale level, considering the highest to be the metric scale, since it contains most information. Assume, for example, a study that records the sport activities per week. This would be a metric continuous scale with a value equal or greater than zero. If you want to analyze this variable as ordinal, you can break it down to activity status that we classify in four classes as following. No sport activities, casual activities, regular activities or daily activities. A further change in scale is possible when you just classify by sport activities, done, yes or no, ending up with a nominal variable. So that is it for today. As you could see, quantitative and qualitative variables can be clearly distinguished, as well as the scale they are assigned to, depending on how the data needs to be presented. If there are any additional questions, our team of statisticians is happy to help you out. Leave us a message at statistics at gcp-service.com or leave a comment below. If you are significantly satisfied with the content, make sure to subscribe to not miss the next video.